Um, I think the pathologists who do more autopsies than me have come across these. And if you, you know, if you, if you speak to the likes of Ryan Cole, I think they, they are seeing these things. Um, but, uh, you know, as, as we've said, we don't examine the peripheral circulation. In other words, we wouldn't go down the brachial artery routinely, you know, uh, or any distal circulation unless there was a specific reason to do that. So we would be mainly interested in the big vessels in the chest and the abdomen and things like that. And, and we wouldn't even go, um, you know, beyond the femoral vessels basically normally unless there was an indication, like I said, if there was a deep vein thrombosis. So I think we're not examining uh, the peripheral circulation uh, maybe on a routine basis. But, yes, if there is an indication, if there is an indication to look further, yes, then we would, but it wouldn't be a routine uh, phenomenon. Um, yeah, mm. so. Mm. And Shankara, do you think it could be that these clots are located anywhere else? So meaning that, suppose they're not in the big vessels. Suppose they're somewhere else in the body and it's only when the embalming process is being done that they are flushed out of wherever they are. Is that at all logical? Yeah, I'm sure, Philip. Uh, they might not be uh, uh, clinically significant, uh, uh, but when, when you do the embalming process, you are removing blood from areas of the body that the usual pathology or, or postmortems won't address. And so from big vessels in the arms and in the legs, if the patient had no signs of ischemia, it wasn't contributory to the death, then the uh, mortician doesn't go looking in that direction. And so it would be highly likely that it would be seen only when you actually doing embalming, where you're removing all the blood from the circulation and you'd get a broad picture of what was in that bloodstream. Mm. And so, Richard, you guys actually believe that these clots could be being formed anti-mortem, so when the patient is alive. Is there a reason for that? Yes. Um, actually, there is a big reason for that. Uh, I have spoken with embalmers with 50 years of experience. Uh, myself with over 20 years now, uh, others with 30 and 40. If these were, if, if these were post-mortem clots, we would have seen this years ago. And all of a sudden, started in a, sometime in early 2021, not only do we see it every once in a while, we see it fairly often. So something has changed. If, you know, like, you know, I understand there are some people that are born uh, both male and female, have both sex organs. It's very, very rare, correct? Hmm. Um, but if you started seeing you know, 30% of the babies being born with two sexual organs, you would have to say what the world is going on here. And that's what us, that's why us embalmers, we're, we're thinking if these were just post-mortem clots, there would be nothing unusual. We would be used to this. The sad thing is, is it's becoming normal. So I want us to be specific here. So what I mean is that, do you think that the clots are being formed before the person dies or does it only happen after they die? That's really the bit that um, we're trying to, to tease out. What do you think? Um, I originally 100% uh, thought these had to be forming prior to death, anti-mortem. Um, however, uh, with some of the people that are starting to find clotting through the um, things like the ozone therapy and with doing some dialysis uh, machines, getting clogged up with some kind of strange clots and uh, the formation of the uh, white fibrous looking clot in separated blood forming. Um, I'm not 100% going to say that these are only anti-mortem clots. I think they could be also post-mortem. Either way, for me, um, I can't die on this hill as far as whether they're anti-mortem or post-mortem. All I can say is these are not normal and something is causing it. And do you have a picture or do you have that some, can you show us what it looks like here? I think that's useful. So if we just zone in on that, so oops, let me just put you here. 
Yeah. So this is from one patient or is this an aggregation yes. of patients? No, no. This is just from one. Um, I have another one here. And they're very solid. It's not like they're, you see? Now, sometimes you, I'll have, I have a, another one here where you're going to see a lot of black that's around it. And that's some of the blood that is stuck to the side of these things. All right. Uh, I have, I've collected over a hundred of these things. Now I don't have very many of these left because I have sent many of them off to doctors to try to help research and figure out what it is. All right. Who wants to try and see if they can explain? I have never seen anything like this. Rory, anything like this that you've seen? Um, no.